Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Drew7, and today I don't have a bottle to flip for you guys. We're gonna be doing the full mod list on my 2007 Mazda 3 GS or iTouring model. It's the two liter naturally aspirated motor. And today I wanna show you guys every single thing I've done to it as the 2018 summer edition. You guys may know, you guys may not know, I did one last year and that was when summer ended. So I had ugly wheels on it. You know, a lot of it wasn't even and like done up but there's been so much more added to the car I want to show you guys what I've done to it and you know you guys can do all this for yourselves and I'll answer all your questions if you guys have any questions in the comments below now for a lot of you guys you guys are probably some Mazda speed owners coming here like yo bro you don't those aren't mods you ain't a modder those are just visual mods well it's still a modification man you see those fog lights those were a modification those aren't OEM I'm gonna bring you around this this beast and uh, we're gonna have some fun so we're gonna take a overlook around the car and see what we got so this is it 2007 Mazda 3 in the I think this is carbon gray the carbon gray Mika or metallic and this is basically the summer setup that's basically the gist of it so we're gonna start by going on the inside it's unbelievably warm in here so we'll start off right here this is what I'm looking at every day I get inside the car. So obviously you guys can tell, whoa, how'd you do that? Whoa, how'd you do that? Whoa, how'd you do that? Well, we're basically gonna, I'm gonna explain everything that I've done inside, you know, visually and stuff like that. And I've also done, you know, stuff that you can't see. Let's start on the left side here. So you guys can see I have red door panels all the way around. I do have a video on this. If you guys wanna see a lot of the videos, I have basically all the tutorials on my how to Mazda playlist, which I'll leave in a card in the top right of your screen right now. Uh, you guys will be able to see how to do this and a bunch of other stuff. Next thing when we go over here, actually, you know what, one thing right here is I've done these, just a little bit of a uh, door striker cover. It looks pretty cool. MS on it, stands for Mazda Speed and it's in like black, just something little to have there. Those are like three bucks. I recommend getting those right here. Uh, this is something that I've done. I painted this black. These come in like a silver color from OEM. So I just took them out and then I covered it and sprayed the outside black so that it goes with everything else. Basically, everything in here is black except the door handles, which, you know, I probably won't end up by doing, but we'll see where that goes. Coming into the middle here, you guys can see I have 200,000 kilometers on my Mazda 3. That is kilometers, not miles. But as we're looking right here too, you guys can see this ring around here. This is painted a matte black. This used to be silver as well, but it now is black. It's one of those things you don't notice but you know you kind of get used to it and it's a really nice little visual thing to just kind of paint everything black in here take a look up at the top you guys can see I have LEDs all the way around I have an LED interior kit I might as well show you guys if we turn on the headlights I also have some footwell LEDs under there along with some Mazda speed pedals these are aftermarket and I have a video on this and also the LEDs so they're all the way around I don't have them in the rear I just have them in the front. I did paint this black. Uh, I would suggest using nail polish to paint this black if you guys want to do that. I spray painted it, not a good idea. Right there, I have the Mazda badge from my trunk. I currently have an Evil M, which I will show you guys what I mean by why I switched that out. And I don't have the clock that sits in there. That's part of the double din uh, deck. Uh, this is actually wrapped. I wrapped this, I have a video on that as well. This is a Pioneer AVH. 291 BT, it's got Bluetooth, and I also, I'll start it up for you guys so you can see that I have the reverse camera wired in here. You guys go over and you can see the reverse camera is part of something that I've done. You guys can watch a video for that too. I have these custom AC knobs, all your fan control and everything, those are custom and I did paint those black. Uh, other than that, I have a custom red shift boot and I'm still looking for a shift knob. I've gone through many of these, but right now this is the best one for me. So I, there, I mean, there's tons of them, but it's just, you know, I don't uh, don't really have money to spend on a nice So under this, I actually have a short throw shifter and solid shift bushing. So that makes it real nice and solid. It is a little shorter. Um, I would definitely suggest getting a cork sport one if you guys want to get a short throw shifter instead of the eBay one. But you know, it's what it is. This is the eBay short throw shifter. Uh, these are JBR solid shift bushings. And I mean, they do make a lot of a difference. So I would definitely recommend getting those for your manual transmission. Right here, I have 
have the black button from the GX model of the Mazda 3. Uh, I used to have a silver one, painted it black, didn't work out that well, so I just took it out of the GX model because it was black already. And then also a cool little thing that I think is really neat to keep your interior clean, I have a cable that goes from the back of the deck all the way under and it comes through up here and then it comes through right here so you, you guys can hide it or whatever you guys want to do. So one of the cool things about this car is I actually have the first generation Mazda Speed 3 seats in this car. Now this is not a Mazda Speed, this is just regular Mazda 3 sedan. These are actually the Mazda Speed seats. So this is a full swap, I actually did this not too long ago and you guys can do it too if you want. It's direct bolt-in and I do love these seats and I think it's really nice to have them in here especially you know for my sake of being lowered and everything lower center of gravity I'm gonna be tugged around a little more so these are nice go ahead and open so in the trunk I have a 12 inch MTX Terminator subwoofer and a MB Quart uh, amplifier and then other than that I just kind of have uh, a lot of wiring and you know stuff going on I haven't put the uh, fabric back in but I will do that eventually so I mean like I said there's a lot of uh, wiring going on here and for the next part here we'll take a look at the engine bay so obviously you know being a Mazda 3 not much going on under here you guys may notice I used to have a cold air intake I got rid of that I got the hello horns installed painted that Put the air box in but instead of having the resonator at the bottom i took that out so it's just the air box and there's nothing at the bottom the sub wire hooked up from the battery going into the grommet i got these little password jdm fender washers here all the way around kind of looks cool that would be the engine bay I also forgot to mention that I actually do have a throttle body grounding kit in there so it's basically just a ground wire and it makes it a little bit more of a faster reaction to when you put your foot down in the pedal. I don't know how it works but I do have that in there if you guys are wondering. I do have a video on that as well if you guys want to make a little like a tints of cheap power then I have that. But now let's work on the outside. So you guys can tell this is obviously the front of the car. This car has come like a long way. You can see it's lowered. You can see it's got a lip. You can see it's got, you know, everything on it. So let's go ahead and we'll start at the front. So we're, we will start about talking with the LEDs. Uh, obviously the front of the car, LEDs and everything. So I have a DRL mod so that the fog lights come on as my DRLs and my beams don't come on anymore. The reason why they actually don't come on anymore is because it's a LED high beam so I do have that which is my DRL and they stay on forever I don't have it hooked up to a switch or anything so those are on you know until I un unhook them from power then for my headlight I just have regular LED headlights from eBay the thing is all these LEDs are from eBay I do want to get switchback LEDs for my turn signals sometime pretty quick I'm also thinking about getting RGB headlights and fog lights as well so I can change the colors just have like a different tint and then change it whenever I want to so I think it would be just kind of cool for photos and stuff like that and then like I said I also have the LED high beam here and it actually works pretty well, I'm not gonna lie, I really like it and it just, you know, it, I, it just, it, it works guys, it works. So that's the LEDs. So now let's go ahead and work our way around the car by looking at the front of the car. So I have the Duraflex open mouth grill that I got from Duraflex. The fitment on those are a little sketchy, um, you know, that's, and I think I painted it, it's painted matte black. Uh, these fog light bezels are spider aftermarket fog lights they did, they did not come on the car these are aftermarkets so those are in that I put in as well I got the basin R front lip here that I rigged on this does not fit the bumper either but I rigged it on it fits and it looks pretty good then I got the tow hook license plate adapter there with the awesome British Columbia Canada license plate uh, theme that they got going on so it's pretty wicked I did paint the grip or the lip black and this goes along to the side here where you guys can see I have the GT model side skirts that I got off of a GT Mazda 3 just got them from uh, a guy that was parting out his car you guys can get them online wherever you want this is probably one of the most exciting parts right here these this is my wheel setup and I'll talk about my coilovers as well so I'm currently sitting on BC racing BR coilovers I got them pretty low I can go lower if I want which is gonna be the objective I got uh, the Neato Neogen 225 40 18 tires with the Nito tire lettering obviously I love that so much I got red brake calipers in there also the ring around the rotor is black as well then the wheels are avid.1 AV32 I believe 
I believe that's what they are. 18 by 8.5 with an offset of a 35, ET35. And that's my wheel setup and my coilover setup as well. Obviously I got the front and the rear. And you know, if you guys wanna know how they are, ask me and I will reply. You guys come over here, you guys can see I shaded these. These are coming, it's kinda of coming off. I just used a bit of plastic, so I'm gonna have to redo that pretty quick. I got Riley Armor mud flaps going from the front in the back which I'll show you in a second these are really nice they actually do a lot for the entire side of the car if I did not have these right now this entire side would just be baked in dirt so I'm pretty thankful for these and they add like a really nice neat look as well you guys come over here you guys can see I got the maze the squad sticker and then also on top I got a short stubby antenna come back here like I said same thing same wheels and then I also got the mud flaps with the coils coils in there as well but you guys can see with the mud flaps it does give it a pretty wicked look so right here I got the spider LED aftermarket tail lights these are wicked and I also LED reverse lights and LED signals I won't show them but I do have videos on these if you guys really want to see that so the whole tail light is LED and they're white as well they're not amber I did shade out this tail light I blacked out my evil M badge that's why I got the other badge in my interior and I also blacked out my Mazda badge down here I blacked out my reflectors cool license plate with the password JDM and also my reverse camera I have the cork sport power series exhaust if you guys are wondering about that cue the sound clips red tow hook right under there which is really nice then I also have the local club sticker and a big YouTube sticker on the back and to be honest I believe that is it so yeah that's basically that I think I might have missed a couple things off the top of my head I can't think of anything else that's on that car that's basically the walk around of everything that you see you guys can check in the description I'll have the full list of everything that you see in the video and maybe if I did forget a couple other things then I'll definitely put them down in the description description below but that is the walkthrough of my 2007 Mazda 3 so that's a video for today guys hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to hit that subscribe button for more Mazda content I'm uploading all the time you guys already know that I got new things coming out for this thing every day like I said Mazda speed seat in a regular Mazda 3 like come on so anyways like I said make sure to check out my how to Mazda playlist I got tons of stuff on there regarding this car and how to do everything like I said if you guys have any questions about anything that I did on my car that you see in this video let me know down in the comments below and i will definitely reply to you guys but other than that my name is dudusk7 and remember guys keep on vibing